Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to 88 Mile Per Hour Adventures. I am James, and it's Memorial Day weekend, so I decided to take a trip on down to John's Pass. John's Pass is located in Madeira Beach, Florida, uh, right on the coastline. Uh, it was actually uh, created by a hurricane back on September 27th, 1948, and it gets its name from the pirate John Levesque, who made the first passage through the newly created pass, so we get John's Pass. Uh, it's basically called John's Pass Village and Boardwalk. That's got you know kind of different names, but uh, it's just a large area, kind of a tourist area. There's a lot of shopping you can do down there. Uh, there are some restaurants, a lot of chartered stuff, jet skis. Uh, you can take out boats for um, fishing through Hubbard's Marina. A lot of good stuff to uh, see down there, so we're going to go ahead and check everything out and uh, check out the boardwalk as well. So let's get to it. All right, here is the uh, directory of all the Johns Pass. Let's see right there. We are right about here. Got the beach on that side and then a whole bunch of shops. And this is the boardwalk area. We'll check that out as well. So let's, uh, let's take a look and see what's going on. Yeah, there's definitely some traffic here for the old Memorial Day weekend. Not a lot of parking. Although that is a parking garage right down there, but it's best to stay away from that if you can, because it is a pain in the ass. Got surf style right there. And if for whatever reason you don't find what you want in that surf style, you can always come over here and go to surf style. Why there's two right across from each other, I have no idea, but they're both there. Is Delosa's Pizza. I've had their pizza in here a couple times. It's pretty good. Um, nothing amazing, but definitely, uh, definitely pretty good. Forty years since 1983. All right, I got the. Friendly Fisherman Restaurant over there. Got Hooters, Hubbard's Marina's all down here. This is also where Bubba Gump is and the uh, aforementioned parking garage. And looks like I got the John's Pass Grill if you head upstairs. Yogurt City. There's Yogurt City. This is the parking garage. Like I said, I worked here for a couple years. Rest assured, this is not really where you want to go. Uh, looks like it's a buck every 15 minutes, but it's only got one exit lane, and everybody tends to leave in the afternoon. Uh, so you've got like it's 323 spots in here. So if you got most of those people leaving all at once, you're going to be stuck in here for quite some time. So this is kind of the last resort for you. All right, this is Hubbard's Marina. They used to own all this, including that parking garage. Not anymore, though. It's still a good portion of it. You can do like fishing charters out of here. They've got uh, dolphin cruises and uh, sunset cruises, all that good stuff. So, yeah. All right, yeah, there's where you can buy tickets for all that. You want to do fishing charters. Uh, they have multiple day fishing charters, too, I think. That is the waiting area over there. Different stuff. It's our hurricane simulator. I went in that one time. It was basically just to get free AC. Well, not free AC, but I think it was $5 AC. This is the Calypso Cruises waiting area. Underneath that, get your picture taken in a shark. Animal House crane game. It used to actually be uh, lobster in there. If you cut a lobster, uh, they would actually cook it over at the Friendly Fisherman, but I guess they did away with that. I believe that's a replica size uh, shark they found in the uh, water off here years ago. Can't remember 100%, but I think that's what that is. And there is the uh, different stuff they do at Hubbard's Marina. As you can see, they've been here almost 100 years. That's our fish area right there. So if you go on their ship, or their boat, I should say, 
whatever you bring back, uh, they'll go ahead and clean up for you, get it ready. Well, actually, at least they used to. They cook it over at the front of the fisherman if you wanted them to, but uh, not sure if they still do that. There's the friendly fisherman too. That is the Calypso Dinner Cruise. I actually wasn't here when I worked here. Got a small beach area over here. And the old drawbridge is up. Alright, this is basically the beginning of the boardwalk. It goes along the bay here. You can see we're up by the, uh, up by the drawbridge, which is going back down. Got a little bit of a beach area here under the bridge if you want to get a little shade. Rent some jet skis. You'll be able to see here this kind of goes along the, uh, along the edge here. We're not on the gulf, like I said, this is the bay. The bay goes out into the uh, under the bridge there, and that's where the gulf is. It's on the other side of the street. So. Uh, you'll be able to see a little bit. Bubba Gumps is up there on the, uh, it's technically the third level, we're up on the second level now. So I'm going to go uh, walk along this we're walking to uh, show you what kind of shop goodies you can uh, find out. Obviously, this is a tourist place, so probably all the shirts you could ever want to buy in this entire, if you go throughout John's Pass, you're going to find something. Personalized letter arts, sunglasses. All right. This is free coconuts clothing. Like I said, all the shirts you could want. Get you a nice. Uh, your beach shirt there. I didn't mention it before, this is a Madeira Beach. It's actually on the other side of the water is uh, this Treasure Island over there. But this is the uh, Madeira Beach side. You actually see the friendly fishermen coming in right now. Uh, Hooters up there on, that, like I said, that's technically the third level. Hold on a second. Some jewelry right there. And then Paul Paws over here. Gifts for your pets if you want to pick them up a souvenir. You can do that. Like I said, there's a friendly fisherman coming in right there off of one of their uh, fishing charters. May have been just a 12 hour. They have a 36 hour as well, at least they used to. This is from a few years ago. Then you got all the gulls down there just waiting for those scraps. chocolate store if you've got a ton of money to burn that's where you could do it it is trust me it's not cheap all right now we're kind of getting a look out at the rest of the boardwalk here and the different stuff you can do this is the friendly fisherman over here like I said they used to I'm not sure if they still do but if you caught something off of the uh, charter boat they not only would they clean it for you but they'll also cook it for you over there so you really don't have to do anything except catch it Pretty cool, uh, pretty cool deal. It's the uh, dockside seating for friendly fishermen. music playing. I didn't realize there was actually a guy out there singing. Alright. 
nautical souvenirs if you want to get something. Or if you're looking for a job. All right, the pirate ship over here. It's one of those ones that's kind of for kids. They go out there. Oh, dolphin Quest as well. There's definitely other dolphins in the uh, in this area right here. Really don't need to go on one of these to, to see them, but it's definitely uh, it's not very expensive and it's kind of cool to check out. And if you want to go parasailing, we got this guy right here, Eagle Parasailing. You can check that out too. Pirates Pub and Grub. I don't think I ever ate there. There's another place down here called Boardwalk Grub. Whenever I worked here, but I was getting something. That's usually where it was. Got John's Pass Wave Runner or Right Wave Liners. That's where you can rent some jet skis. See some folks are down there doing that right now. See the number right there if you're interested. Uh, it's like an ice cream place here. Sugar Daddy's 40 flavors. The information booth for the uh, Wave Runners right there. Yeah, get a better view. All the different, uh, wa well, I guess Wave Runners, jet skis, whichever. <laughs> head on out there. Definitely a beautiful day for it. Cannot complain. It's not even really hot either. There's a nice little breeze going. Hopefully it's not messing up the audio on this one. You know, I get a lot of wind noise, but yeah, definitely a nice cool breeze today. I got scullies over here. Scully's over there restaurant. Got Jacks at John's Pass. More Wave Runner, Wave Runner rentals. Let's see if I can't get that out. <laughs> Looks like you can rent some of these boats down here too. Definitely plenty to choose from, and if you're looking to uh, rent something to go out on the water with. And even this is Memorial Day weekend. I mean, this is Sunday right now. It's about 5 o'clock, so there's, there's still obviously a lot available. Like I said, this is Scully's Restaurant here. Kind of wraps around to the other side, and then they got a, a lower deck as well. I'm not sure. Yeah, I got caddies out there. You can see, this is part of Scully's. And there is the lower level as well. There you go. Had to pull the filter off. Doesn't do very well in the darkness. Yeah, there's the upper and lower level. area over there like I said that's the caddies the outdoor seating area that is the uh, pirate ship I mentioned not too long ago looks like that's gonna be coming back in pretty good sized boardwalk There's caddies down there Going, probably not gonna see that too good with this filter on. Like I was saying, if you want to rent a jet ski or something, I gotta go parasailing. There's definitely a lot of options for you. You can see a couple jet skis down here. Woody's Water Sports got another parasailing boat, a lot to choose from. This is the boardwalk grill. If you want to get some good food down here, this is where I used to, whenever I would buy food down here when I worked here, I would go to the boardwalk grill. It takes a little bit of time, but it's worth it. I get some good food in there. 
most famous taffy. I'm pretty sure every taffy place is labeled the world's most famous or the world's best. Got Gator's Parasail. There we go. And there's the tiki boat. It's a little tiki bar. Right now it isn't going out. I don't know if they're about to leave or they just came in, but it's a tiki bar that floats out in the water. Never tried it, but one of these days we're going to. That looks like just a bigger version of the tiki boat. So get your drink on and uh, enjoy the nice views of the water. Uh, another ice cream snow cone place. say got a few more boats down here and you can see the mass amount of boats off in the distance and then over here it's real shallow water over there so a lot of people like to park their boats there and you can kind of get in the water it's just you know either knee or waist deep it's like having your own little private beach out that way but you gotta have boats to get to it On the third level. This is Hooters, the world's largest wing right there. This is the same level that um, Bubba Gumps is on, it's just on the flip side. The easiest way to kind of get here is if you go through the parking garage and go up to the third floor. They do have a couple elevators. walkway here kind of overlooks everything the back roads here this is back behind the boardwalk you see we've got a little live music going too and if you come on over to the other side this is over by the parking garage down to the street below there and that is uh, Bubba Gump's Shrimp Company over there. Not a big seafood eater, but from what I've heard from people that used to go there, and this is a few years ago, it wasn't the best. So take that, uh, take that with a grain of salt. You can actually walk. There's a little walkway up here on this third level. I think there's more stuff up here. I think there's a little hotel. There used to be just like absolutely nothing up here when I worked there. Just a bunch of empty shops. But now there's a little bit more. This is the back side of surf style over there. You can see the crowd of folks trying to get here and leave. This is always a, this area down here is always a, just a traffic nightmare. The road is narrow. There's a bunch of people coming and going. There's a lot of places to park. It's just kind of crappy. This is Gulf Boulevard here by the parking garage. That's the uh, drawbridge that goes over into Treasure Islands. All right, 
the salty semen. Holy double entendres. <laughs> Just another, uh, another gift shop where you can buy many, many shirts. large line to get to the bathroom. Luckily you don't have to do that so we're gonna we're gonna skip ahead here and head back on over to the shops. That looks like you can put your dog on a t-shirt if you so desire. Wild style here like I said there are plenty of places if you want to buy a souvenir t-shirt to go. Wild style swimwear, beachwear. store right there if you want to pick up uh, some stuff's actually down the way right there probably better to do that before you get here because you can only imagine how expensive it is uh, salty sisters gourmet popcorn pretty much what you do when you come down here you buy t-shirts and you eat food ice cream. There's the John's Pass Trading Company. They got a cool mural here on the side of the building. This is a two-level area shop here. And a dog bed. And more souvenirs. Uh, up there, I think they have gators up there. Just small ones that you can uh, hold on to. And they also have a video arcade, if I'm not mistaken. At least it used to be there. He said, more and more shops. <laughs> if, you're, if you're noticing a theme here, would be correct. It smells nice. There must be some kind of Bath and Body Works type place nearby. Ah, that's what it is. Lori Soap and Sponge Market. I'm guessing that is where all the pretty smells are coming from. If you happen to be a military personnel, past or present, they do have a VFW here. It's just on the uh, side of Surf Style facing Gulf Boulevard. You'll see it up there. It was 4256. So if you're a veteran, you can check that out. Looks like they also have a VFW grill that's uh, open from 11 to 8 that the, uh, just the regular general public can go in there. I'm sure getting some food there helps support the VFW. So. Might want to check that out. 
All right, guys, that is going to do it for today's video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, please think about hitting that subscribe button. I put out videos on my adventures around Florida and throughout the world. So if you want to keep up on that, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of, uh, thought of the tour of John's Pass today. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.